This is a singular honor for Dr. Florescu, and she is incredibly well-deserving. She came to UNMC in 2006 uh, with really top-notch clinical training, but not a great deal of clinical research experience. And because of her perseverance, her hard work, her dedication, she's really risen to the top of her field. What a lot of people don't know about Deanna is that uh, for probably about 15 years, she built up an international reputation for her scientific discoveries and her contributions to our understanding of infectious complications in solid organ transplant patients. In particular, she helped characterize adenovirus infections in small bowel transplant patients, and she also uh, defined the importance of hypogammaglobulinemia in our post-transplant patients, and she was internationally recognized uh, for this work. And then she really stood up tall during the COVID-19 pandemic, and quite frankly, her work was inspirational. Uh, while many of us were very stressed, uh, Deanna uh, rose to the occasion and really helped to lead the UNMC response to COVID-19 with regard to the development of therapeutics and preventative treatment, and in particular, with vaccine development. I have had the privilege to be her first mentor at UNMC, uh, and, and, and that's really special for me because uh, she has grown so much uh, to become a world-renowned uh, clinical researcher and an outstanding clinician and a great mentor for so many people at UNMC. So congratulations for this well-deserved award, Dr. Presky. When she recognizes a research project that is important, she works tirelessly to make it happen. She figures out what is needed and develops strategies that will make it be successful. She recognizes that there may be some challenges, but she doesn't let that deter her. She is really remarkable at setting goals and achieving those goals. And we are just so fortunate and blessed to have her in the Department of Internal Medicine. I'm a basic scientist, and I'm very interested in understanding how staff works from the bacterial side. What I can only dream about is the work that you do in the clinical research arena where you actually take some of the basic science and turn it into practice. And this is what you have excelled in your whole career. The work that you do with uh, testing uh, vaccines and therapeutics uh, is really uh, on the cutting edge and um, the most translational uh, work that, uh, that you can get. Congratulations, Diana, on this um, fantastic award. Um, I am very proud to say that I have known you for almost 20 years, and um, your work has impacted many lives uh, in every setting that you have been. For those that know you, um, we know that your work is exemplary. You're an awesome teacher. You have been involved in teaching, research, but more importantly, you're a great person and you have always been. I have been your friend for 20 years. I know your family and I cannot say that um, this award surprises me because I know who you are, what you do and the work that you have done uh, throughout your career. I can't tell you how many nurses on the floor reach out to me when they want a precept with us and they want to know and follow us when she's on because she teaches so much to everybody all the time. We have fellows that reach out to me and her constantly regarding protocols that they want to implement that she started here specifically about banco locks and with the pediatric transplant patients um, organized. I know from a teaching standpoint, a lot of our patients are super complicated and I get overwhelmed going in and I can trust her to always bring me down. She is so able to focus and pull out all the information that she needs so that we can systematically, step-by-step, step, address everything that we need to. She truly loves her pediatric patients, and I know that that is something that she wasn't into when she first went into it, but they make her sparkle and shine, and she is not afraid to tackle whatever is going on with them. I'm honored to join those who recognize Dr. Florescu today for her achievements in clinical research. 
I have known Diana for more than 20 years and attest that success in medicine is never an accident. Behind Diana's accomplishments, there is integrity, hard work, and unwavering determination. I have never seen anyone with more passion and grit in designing studies, publishing solid results, and creating a successful research team. As she is Romanian, I'm partial to her exceptional achievements. Let's not forget that she built an outstanding career in USA anew after being a full-fledged public health attending in Romania. Diana has inspired scores of colleagues and disciples. She is the one who determined me to join the select group of ID specialists. She sparked my interest in academic medicine and the care of immunocompromised patients. Diana is a fantastic human being and friend who loves flowers, strange animals, and sends me the best cat videos in the universe. She was also the first one to make me ride a horse. The evidence of her leadership is my lack of obvious injuries. I'm delighted that the institution she is loyal to recognizes her today. Proof UNMC is a great place. Dr. Florescu, I'm so grateful for your guidance and mentorship. I really cherish our relationship. And here are the top five things that I think make you an excellent mentor. Number one, you're always willing to share your expertise with your mentees. Number two, you're always available to help. Number three, you give honest feedback and some tough love. Number four, you've always looked out for my best interest. Number five, you're an outstanding female role model. It's been the greatest pleasure and inspiration to see everything that you've achieved in your career, breaking boundaries and stereotypes along the way. And I know I speak for many others when you make me feel like anything is possible. Uh, it's a great honor to congratulate you, Deanna, on uh, this incredible recognition. I've gotten the chance to get to know you over the last couple of decades uh, because of a mutual interest in two unusual viruses, norovirus and adenovirus, uh, as well as our love for travel and uh, uh, generally having a good time. Uh, when we were looking for sites uh, for our norovirus study, uh, your site and you in particular were the first uh, that we uh, contacted because I know that you are an amazing researcher who is easy to work with and always uh, recruits uh, patients uh, and completes their uh, enrollment. Um, it's been a huge honor working with you. Uh, congratulations on this award. I've been working with Deanna since 2014 and she's taught me everything I know about academic research. She is a wealth of knowledge and a very strong leader. Um, from Deanna, I've learned how to be caring and compassionate. Um, I've learned what it means uh, to be part of a team. I've learned to be able to keep things in perspective. And I've really learned good work um, ethic and how to set the, the standard for success um, pretty high. Hi, Deanna. And while so many people know about your incredible brilliance and your insight into all these challenging clinical problems, many people may not appreciate the compassion and the thoughtfulness that you've provided to so many of our transplant recipients. And in particular, I know you know what I'm talking about. Uh, many people may not appreciate what an incredible ballroom dancer you are and how you put together our sort of dance-a-thon that me and other quote-unquote volunteers met with certain patients who had received transplants, these children, and you invited us all to a ballroom dancing competition. And we were all so really touched by your compassion and your commitment and your ability to organize all this. I'm so excited for you. I'm so proud of you. Um, and uh, again, I can't imagine anybody more deserving of this award than you are.